father to an aku. Papa to an aku. Daughter of the land. Rangi Nui, the father of the skies. Lovers. In the beginning, there was no light. As the two parents of all things were in a lover's embrace. All the children attempted to split their parents apart, though none succeeded, apart from the art of the forest. Tanya. He planted his legs into his father, his back into his mother, split it apart, letting the light into this world. <laughs> I'm the art of Ngahiri, the forest. Welcome to the light, my little oh, amphibians, insects, and cody snails, <laughs> my pretty de hoo and bees, pollinate and beautify. You will become my oldest friend. Kia kaha e oha. Kiwi, my flightless icon. Explore the night, little friends. Friendly and cheeky. Taka ho ho ngaku, piwa oka. Better. Scuttle and crawl. Relish being released from fetal, the art of things. Poo <coughs> kickle. Hands of the swamp. Living on the edge of the wetlands. My seed spreader. Fly, Kedudu. Fly to the tops of the limo in the car, he could see a tree. Sing for us, Tui. Your voice will charm and astound every passerby. <coughs> Kākāpō. Big, green and nimble. Forage on the floor and climb for the berries. Look after each other. We need you.
smell that damp fish air and listen to those birds all win. Takes me back to my childhood when we used to build huts in the bush. We'd get lost for hours and come home at tea time starving. I wish you'd <coughs> get lost now. This is so Papaiti Hoha. What? I said I wish Mrs. Lynch would get lost so we can turn around and get out of this damp dark. Oh man! I lost my 4G. 4G? Seriously, Annie, I just lost my 3G. What does G stand for anyway? Google. Google? Are you sure, Terry? Yep, my dad said that if you have more Google, you can Google faster than if you have three Google. He said, Google is like God, like an all thing, all known being in the sky, and we should always pay respect to the big G. Yeah. <laughs> two G or not two G? That is the question. I love you, G. I love you, G. Love you, G. Love you, G. Enough Google time! Put away that technology and behold the greatest wonder of the forest. G! G is right. This is the greatest culture in our country. Taitukura Iwi calls this great treasure in Tane Mahuta. The Atua who separated this man to the big issues like this. But we also have to do our bit. The earth can't clean up itself. I'll do my bit, Nan. Good girl. Hey, Nan, did you know that there's so much plastic in the ocean that fish are eating it? I know, bub. Plastic everywhere. 
Everything's made of plastic these days. Even people's faces, eh, Nan? <laughs> yes, especially those celebrities in America getting plastic surgery on their faces. Keep it real, I say. I'd like to go to America one day, Nan. Oh, yeah? Why's that, Bob? I'd like to have a meeting with Mr. Trump. Tonight's lead story concerns Cody Dieback in Northland. Fight to four attacks in the Garthus, commonly known as Cody Dieback, is destroying a native Cody. This soil borne and grass transport disease is spreading at an alarming rate. It's becoming very difficult to control. We're crossing over to Corfire Blossom over some white poor forest. <laughs> Maybe Corfire. Thanks, Rudin. I'm here with Michelle Bracken, an expert with the Department of Conservation to give us more insight into this deadly destroyer of one of our national treasures. Yeah, uh, g'day. Well, put simply, this pathogen has been making itself very cosy in our forest for about um, 10 years now, the Cody being the most affected, as you can see in this evidence here. The yellowing leaves and thinning canopy is evidence this tree has been hit. These lesions we see here, yeah, well, not good. The resin stuff oozing out is like saying, oh man, I'm bleeding to death. It's a crime New Zealand, a crying shame. <laughs> what is the government doing to combat this deadly disease? Well, there are six main agencies working together to try and combat spread of this disease. But together, we at DOC are developing a strategic plan. 
but every one of us is responsible, Kofi, if we are to save this giant of the forest and its ecosystem. Thanks, Michelle, Cody expert. Back to you, Royden. This is Kofi Blossom from 3 News reporting live from Waipoa Forest. Thank you, Kofi. And now for the weather with Barry. <laughs> Are you sure you should be doing that? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Well, I just thought, mm, well, you know that. Well, it never did nothing to you. What? Are you standing up for the tree? Does the tree have feelings? Is it going to cry or something? <laughs> feelings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feelings. Well, actually, I do believe trees can feel things. I think everything can feel things.
that feeling, yes we do I can feel the pain from the dirt on your shoe Pain will spread to my leaves in the sun It will spread to my core and my retina run Trees have feeling, yes we do we never heard a tree We never heard a tree A confirmed case of Phytophora has been discovered in the biggest Cody tree in Waipua Forest. The Department of Conservation is treating this as a serious issue and it may need to be chopped down to prevent further spreading. 
Yeah, so it's not looking too good for our big guy here. You mean Saima Oto? Ah, uh, yeah. Cody Dybeck has hit him hard, and I'm afraid if we don't do something soon, he may need to come down. Come on, do something, man! Why is this happening to me? Yes, I am a symbol of the separation between you and Rangi Louie. But do I deserve this? This unrelenting pain this is causing me? Other Atua, for Rongo Matane, for Homi and Tiki Tiki, for Tangaroa, and for Tumatoinga, all failed to bring the light into this world. And it was I who led the light. It is I who was placed here in the beginning. And it is I who still stand here as a symbol of this great achievement. Isn't that worth something? I am the great Atu of the forest. Tani Mahu to Pukuimua. Let me be, let me live here on the land for the people. O oh, secret son of ours, I hear you cries for help. I am hurting too. I'm ravaged and cut, wounded and sore. The tears from your father cannot wash away the dirt that is dread in my crevices. Thousands of people filling me with plastic, bleaching disease into my core. Industry corrupting my waterways, 
spilling to the ocean bay of Rana Tamaroa is desperately family to say. The city Matea is angry, wreaking havoc around the world, while Tumata Wenga is ravaging countries and continents, causing death and destruction. What are we to do? We need hope. We need help. We need the light to shine through our tongue into Finua. See how they live, think differently. We need to make changes. However, if we don't act soon, it'll be too late for everyone. The sky is where we look. The sky is where we aim. We must reach inside and let hope and love prevail so that we can save our land, save our people, and save our Cody.
I did. Today we marched onto the steps of Parliament and I met the Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern. Really? What did she say? She told me that she would ensure the survival of our forest and that the great Cody was in good hands. Then she looked me in the eye and told me my spirit was strong and that one day I'll take her job. I thought that was strange because I can't even drive yet. <laughs> hey, I need to catch up my nan. Thanks. What's your name? Beto. This is Cool Fly Blossom for 3 News, reporting live on the seats of Parliament. And I think I may have just met a future Prime Minister. Hey, Bob, you hungry? I need some kind. Sure. Help me down the steps. Okay, one more, one more. Henny Moana is a beautiful Aotearoa Wahine that wears a sequin dress and a crown. Because every time that I look at the, start, at the ocean when the sun shines on it, it reminds me of a golden sequin dress. Henny, I want to wear a sequin dress one day. Maybe when I become Prime Minister. My beautiful Mokopona, Prime Minister. You go, girl. I'm going to let the applicants know what happened. Hey Terry, are some of your crew with you? Can you put this on speakerphone? I've had an amazing day. I met the Prime Minister and was interviewed on TV. What do you mean you saw me? I didn't think you guys were interested. And what do you reckon about a project runway fashion show for 